Chandiru Josephine is a teacher at Mvara Junior Primary School. The school is found in Arua town in the West Nile region of Uganda. She's an English teacher for primary five and primary six. Her lesson for the day is on hotels. The children will know what we find in hotels, the things that we find in the hotels, the people that work in the hotels, their names, and the places. One day, Mary and John went to a hotel. The hotel was a very big hotel. And in the hotel, there were so many people. Now Mary told John that let's go and sit at a certain table. To deliver her lesson, Chandiru is using a methodology called reading to learn, also known as RTL. The methodology has four steps. One, preparation for reading. Two, detailed reading. Three, intensive strategies. And four, joint reconstruction. The first step for RTL is preparation for reading. It's important because it prepares the child to know what text they are going to read. When they went at the table, the waiter and the waitresses came and they sat there and they asked for their order. In this step, the teacher either tells a story or gives a song or gives a short skit to prepare the child to become ready to read. Mary asked for chicken and chips. John asked for chicken and rice. Now the challenge came when they wanted to start eating. The food was served well, but when they wanted to start eating, they were asking for water to wash their hands. Then the waitress said, but we have cutleries here. The fork and the knives are here. Why don't you use them? After sharing the story of Mary and John at the hotel, teacher Chandiru has completed step one. The second step is detailed reading. It is important. It helps the teacher know the children who can read and the children who cannot read so that the, children, the teacher is able to support those children. This is our story that we are going to read today. I'm going to read through the story, then later on we shall read together as usual. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. New hotel opens in Ginger. There was a lot of dance and celebrations at the official opening of Nile Hotel in the outskirts of Ginger Town. After teacher Chandiru reads out loud, she asks the students to read along with her. Can we begin? Are we ready? Yes. Fine. New hotel opens in Ginger. There was a lot of dance and celebrations at the official opening of Night Hotel in the outskirts of Ginger Town. Here, the teacher helps the students read words, especially those that the students may find difficult. And uh, that part of support is called scaffolding. So the teacher supports the children while reading and later on the teacher leaves the children to read alone. Step two ends with the teacher asking Q questions. These help the teacher assess the students for comprehension. And then we said, where is that place found? Where is that place found? In the same sentence. Yes, John? In Ginger Town, can you come and underline for me the word Ginger Town? A stage three is called intensive strategy because there we now do things into details whereby we still continue with some Q questions and the children try to fill some blank spaces 
children try to 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 read in phrases children try to put uh, reorganize sentences so there are a lot of activities that's why we call it intensive strategy okay now now as we were reading such a sentence came by now you who are seated down it's your work to rearrange this story to i mean to rearrange this sentence to make it a correct sentence to make it a correct sentence what is the first part of the sentence what is the first first part chamas The chef, Mr. Ali, is she correct? Yes. Okay, come here. Fortunate, come here. So fortunate is the first person. Siguni. Is she is he correct? Yes. Yes. Told journalist that. So Atibo, you come after fortunate. Then what is the third part? Yes. He had very special, is that correct? Yes. Ibrahim, you're in your right position, eh? Yes. Then, Elizabeth. Yes, good. So which means scholar is in her right position, is that okay? Yes. yes. Then the last one, feta. And other desserts. Now we are going to read together. Is that clear? Yes. We are going to read together. Mm -hmm. When you are, when they are reading yours, you put it like this. You, you stretch it to them like this. Then when Atibo, when it reaches you, have you understood? Good. Yes? Thank you very much. Clap for yourselves. The last okay. step of Reading to Learn for Upper Primary is joint reconstruction. This stage is important because it trains a student to write compositions. Under the joint reconstruction, we can pick phrases and try to reconstruct them. We use different words to reconstruct it, that phrase using having the same meaning. Or we pick words, the vocabulary, and we look for words with the same meaning. We have our story here. We are going to look at this story and then we can see how we can rewrite it in our own language. Is that okay? Not in Lubarati, but in our own English. We can replace certain words. For example, what word can you use for waiters and waitresses? People who serve food in the hotel. Is there anybody who she is correct? There are people who serve food in the hotel. Is there something, you, can you make it shorter? Do you have an idea of making it shorter? Workers. Workers. Workers is broad, it's correct, but it's wide. Feta? People who serve meals. People who serve meals. It's the same as Elizabeth had said, yes. Good. Servers. You can use the word servers, which means you have shortened waiter and waitresses and you have only used one word, servers. Have you understood? Yes. yes. Now, what do you call, how can we shorten breakfast, lunch and supper? Yes? Meal. It is meals. 
Is that okay? And so, the English class ends with the students having learnt about hotels, the things found in hotels, the people that work in hotels, and the places found in hotels. They did all this while practicing their reading, writing, and vocabulary. <laughs>